Okay, here we are. Um, I have screen left, I have Pierre, and in the middle, I have Clement. Um, Clement is going to have to be the one that actually moves uh, left and right. Um, we have the two members of We Are From LA uh, who are not from LA uh, because you're from France, right? So welcome, guys. Thank you for participating. Thank you. I'm very excited to have you part of this. Uh, as I was telling you before we connected, we uh, started doing these conversations, these chats, uh, and that's exactly what they are. So I wanted to know what the whole world of the YBA was and how these directors that actually came out, how, how, how their talent was to be and where they threw their talent after the YBA um, and during the YBA, right? So um, in general, uh, you guys, what's your background? So what is each one of you singularly, talk to me about your personal background before you actually met, because you guys met in an agency. You were both uh, in, in a creative agency, right? Um, so let's say, Pierre, what, what is your background as a family background? Like, how, do, how did you become a creative? Do you have a creative background in your family? And the same question is to you, Clement, after you. So for me, not at all. My, uh, my dad is a lawyer and, uh, and, my, uh, and my mom uh, was a psychologist, so not at all. Not at all. Um, not at all. But uh, since my really young age, uh, I was into drawing. I was like fascinated about drawing. So yep. I think I started uh, my creative life uh, with uh, with that. Mm -hmm. And um, and so uh, and so I was drawing like all the time. Even even during the exam, I was drawing. I was drawing. And so at one time, um, so I decided to uh, to to work around that and and to go to art school. And actually, this is where uh, I met Clément. Oh wow! You met at school. Yeah. Well, we met yeah. at we met at the art school. We met wow. like before uh, going to the to the agency. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So so you've known each other for a while now. Yeah. Not it's that you, it's like uh, twelve years. Or wow. Sixteen years. Like thirteen. Thirteen. I don't know. Thirteen like or something like that. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That, that's a good relationship. Yeah. And, and, you, and you, Clément, so you got to art school to meet Pierre, um, yeah. but by, by what route? How did you get there? Uh, me, uh, like family-wise, like I was like uh, pretty much into uh, artistic stuff. My dad is photographer uh -huh. and my mom, she's like, uh, she, she's like a painting teacher for, for kids. Very great. And uh, but I went to school to the art school to do uh, advertising. Oh, like uh, since I was like uh, very young, I always loved uh, advertising. Yeah, I was very into uh, Olivero Toscani and uh, this. Yeah, that this whole world. Of, and it's yeah. not because you're Italian. Huh? It's no, not, no, no, no. <laughs> actually, actually, like uh, you could have said uh, anybody. <laughs> actually, actually, I, I have Toscani uh, uh, <laughs> coffee, coffee table. Uh, as That's well. fantastic. <laughs> so it's not a lie, but um, and uh, actually, I was rewatching this book two days ago. Yes. Uh, about like 50 years of uh, provocation from uh, Toscani. Yeah. And, uh, and it's still like uh, so... Modern uh, and contemporary, no? So <laughs> contemporary, like with yeah. all the discussions, with all the, the, the works into, like in the US and even in France yep. for, for the black community. Yeah. Yep. It's... Uh, Huge, yeah? Yeah. If you think and, about it right now. The and uh, and this, this moment with yep. this guy, with Toscani, really, was really important for me because like, it for, it's 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 a bit harder now, but like some brands manage to do that uh, still not, like um, still now. But like uh, like when you when when you think that a brand can help uh, a community, can, when you think that a brand can help people to to move forward uh, about the society, yep. it's, it's amazing. And so yeah, it's like a, it's it's yeah, it's still a very good. Uh, let me let me ask you about that. It it was not one of the questions that I wanted to ask, but I will ask you anyway because it is a very interesting moment for advertising. I think, right? Yeah. Difficult. Yeah. Clients will have no money. We're going to come out of a crisis, and you know, blah blah all that. But it's very interesting to me 
that the things that we're living are common to everybody, right? Yeah. Yeah. And the rhetoric is common to everybody. So the rhetorical, I'll use the quotation, right? The rhetorical films that we saw in this period of lockdown were very similar around the world, right? Yeah, yeah. Because they talked about the same emotion. And I think most brands had to do it, which is good. How do you think, do you think, and maybe you know it already because you've probably received scripts of this kind, but do you think brands uh, will, will take, and brands were already good, right? They were doing good things and they were trying their, to find their purpose, right? Yeah. Purpose was the yeah. word. Do you think um, create, creatively something will happen after this or do we go back to what you, you were doing before? Do you think it will change something? Font, it font. depends. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that some creative are going to try to find new ways of, of having new ideas. And, 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 and like, like, like you said, everybody uh, shares the same experience uh, yeah. of consignment. So, yeah, for sure, they are going to speak about that. And, um, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that the client also will, will want to, to speak about that. Yeah. But... But also, I have the thing that, uh, that um, for example, if you are selling cars or stuff yeah. like that, you will, you will, uh, you will, you will try to find ideas like, uh, like, uh, like the last six months. Or... Yeah, no, I, I think so too. I mean, I, I don't I, know what you think, Lamar. I think for me, like the gap will be like even bigger than before between the the brands who try to bring like purpose in their campaigns. Like Nike, for example, like uh, yep. when you think about the campaign, like we were not supposed to be here, for example. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like this kind of campaigns, maybe a little bit more brands will go in this in this direction, right. which is like yeah. ba basically like the best direction to go for me. Uh, yep. To bring like real purpose in the in the campaign, and yep. and this brand will create like like real community forever. And in another yep. end, uh, I have the feeling that. Uh, um, sadly, I have the feeling that a lot of brands will keep going. I think so too. Talking about like the same stuff, talking about <clears throat> the products, talking about the advantage of the products, talking about like this kind of stuff. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. and the gap will be will be even bigger. And for the for the new generations, like for the twenty years old new people uh, who who are interested in advertising the yes. uh, the the gap will be uh, it's hard now i think it's hard now like the w w like with pierre we are like basically like 30, 35 years old and uh, we are we are in the middle between yes. uh, between yeah, the, uh, between the between the 80s and the uh, and the new generation yeah, and, it's true. and 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 the, the new generation is is not too much into advertising actually advertising is not like uh, is not, it's not it's not dreamy like it was like 15 or 20 years ago for but but, for but the, they're they're into brands right so brands are finding new ways to talk to those kids yeah okay. but it's like it's it's for me maybe i'm wrong but i have the feeling that the the, the kids uh, are like very into like a very small amount of brands so yes. they are like maybe like very into these brands, uh, sure. like Nike, because it's very aspirational. But for all the other ones, like for ninety-five percent of of the of the of the of the business, it's uh, it's just like it's people yeah. people talking on the side. You know, it's uh, yeah, it's, true. it's true, it's true, and it, and it, it's it's interesting. I mean, we we won't get into that because then it's, we're going to get into a whole world of, of philosophy of advertising which i would love to talk about but we're not here to talk about it right now so okay <laughs> the two of you meet in school and then at a yeah. certain point you go and become creatives right yeah. when and, and and the creative side i can understand also because you were creative in what you studied right what is what made you want to become a director um it was different stuff, but it was mostly like the the the, the idea to create stuff. Mm -hmm. the... to create more stuff, yeah. Because yeah. In, in, when you are working uh, on idea uh, in advertising agency, 
you you throw every ID in the garbage. You you just keep like five uh, percent or maybe two percent of the, of the ID you, uh, you have, and it's really frustrating. And so everything yeah. starts, uh, I think, uh, because of that. Uh, and get me if I'm wrong, Clement, but no, no, yeah, definitely, it, definitely. It really like how we can produce too more. much frustration. Yeah. Yeah. Too much frustration to work for the for the trash, and and, and, and in, an, in in another way, uh, in another hand also like we had like few uh, few good scripts that we managed to 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 sell to the clients, and yeah. at the end, unfortunately, uh, we had like directors who are not very into it, yep. and it was like even more frustrating to fight yeah. during like uh, 10 months to sell something yep. and yep. when you sell it and after that you have a director who arrive in in who just like and we're not gonna tell the, their name <laughs> we're not gonna say any name but it, it was just it use was, the surname it was already it was already like 12 years ago so maybe they are dead or you know like we, yeah yeah <laughs> and you're a director now who cares they're just competition now no but mm. i don't know but the But yeah, it's it's it it was yeah it was like another level of uh, and and just looking at directors at a point we were like you know like maybe yeah. we can try to do their job you know yeah well it's interesting to me because I firmly believe that thinking something and doing something should be close right yeah. like being able to think and being able to do should be close in when you sell it to a client. Yeah. which is not true of advertising agencies nowadays, right? Uh, they, they go and sell something to the client. They don't have the money for that, but they still want to do it. So they don't have the money for the right director. They don't have the money for the right production. It all becomes like a, a compromise and it becomes, ugh, it's really bad. Right? Yeah. And good, good ideas become bad with a really mediocre production sometimes, you know? And so yeah. I think the frustration of a creative that says, Maybe I will start doing my own creative, or maybe I am as good as the directors that I like. Is actually very interesting to me, right? So yeah, but you 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 have to be a, a little bit uh, crazy, na naive, and crazy at the beginning because for okay. sure you're not as good as the director you you worked with before oh, yes. when it's your first job. Yes, it's another job, and we never study. Uh, Yeah, uh, direction. Yeah. So right. it it's, yeah. it was like, and I mean, like, we are doing this job for 10 years, and we are still improving ourselves. Yeah, and it's going to be like that until the end. But uh, the if you, for me, it's like if you, the most important is to protect the idea. Yeah, and uh, and uh, and so it was like our main stuff. It was like if we, if it's our idea, because like at a point we did a lot of freelance. Yes. As creatives, and at yeah. the same time, we are doing like the direction. The just direction of the, of so the yeah. we, we are on yes. all the on the all the production, but yeah. so it was it was like even better. But and but even like when it's not your idea, but you when you are creative at the beginning, yeah. you know that it's very important to keep to keep the idea in mind yeah. and to protect it and and to protect it uh, until the end. Because like also like. Even like for the agencies and for the creative, it can be like super hard to protect your own idea, because when you are working on an idea for like six months with an agent, with a with a, a creative director, with like yep. uh, with clients, yep. you 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 had been brainwashed by the clients and by oh, yeah. just just, the, just about just by the process. Oh yeah, even not by the client, but just by the process. True. Uh, so many times that at a point. Well, actually, when when you look at the TV, yep. when you look at commercials on TV, like fifty percent of the advertising I, I I look at on TV, I don't understand the idea. <laughs> Or I, I mean, I, mean like, I understand the idea, but just because I'm I'm working in this industry, and so like, okay, yeah, okay, so, but you know, like they they did a jump, a creative jump that you don't like. It's so it's it's just like uh, I, I have, think I have two friends. Friends. I have two friends that have an advertising agency in New York. They're they're really good friends and probably some of the best creatives that I've ever met. Yeah. And they have a theory that a good idea has to be said, has to be written in 12, 12 words. Right? Yeah. 12. If you if it if it can't be written in 12 words, and if people that are and I will I will add this, 
if people that are watching cannot explain it in 12 words, it means that there's some, if, if they thought it was 12 words and it became 15 words, it means that something went wrong, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 it, yeah exactly. Yeah. But with Kemo, it means we're already that, thinking like that also. Like from the I, beginning, it, we really wanted to have like short concept, like yeah. really tight and, uh, and, and, and to, to, to be able to turn up in one phrase. I think yeah. that's key. For all the music videos, it was the idea, it was to say like how, how like the, the journalist will will be able to uh, speak about right. the project in uh, yeah in, in 10 it's words so. the same thing, right? it's like if you were to write a title yeah, yeah. exactly exactly mm. but if it's like to... that that that's true that sometimes in advertising what is funny is like at the beginning for sure the creative and idea uh, easy uh, easily uh, uh, doable in 10, 10 words But after yeah. that, the client brings like a little bit more of the project, so it changes a bit. So you, you add five, like five, five more. Words. And after that, <laughs> the, the CEO uh, came back and asked for two more yeah. words. A different change. And, after, <laughs> and at the end, it's like, ah. And then it's a book. It's like a. Like a... <laughs> <laughs> and, when you, and when you ask to, to sum up the ID in meetings, are like, yeah, so the ID is like. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> 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 but that's part actually like for me it's, it's that's why like the directing advertising uh the directing like commercials is it's uh is interesting it's like uh it's it's really like this part and sometimes when everything is a little bit too uh, much like uh, spread out yeah you just have to take all the pieces and to try to to rebuild it during the treatment and after also and like, that's uh, the job upset. right it's it's your job and the creative's job to keep it 12 words right it's like i think yeah Uh, I think that's the biggest problem nowadays because because of worries and because of versions and because yeah. of the fact that I always say that the biggest problem that we have in this business is that the people that decide are never in the same room at the moment you have to decide, right? So yeah. you, the, the, boss, the boss is never in the room. So somebody says, can we do it with the green shirt also so that my boss who likes green can actually like that, like that i have two options yeah mm-hmm. but so, yeah. so that's often, why we need to in a giant in a in a gentle way that's why we need to uh, to uh, yeah to be uh, persuasive yeah uh, in in meetings and that's why that's why the the creative the creative needs to be uh, respected by the clients Yes, and 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 that's why the directors is to be listened by the by the agency and the client because like you we especially for for the production company and the director as we arrive at the end of the process, yeah, it's very easy for us. Yes, to uh, to go back to the 10 first words. Yes, it's true uh, because we are a little bit more objective because like, we didn't we didn't sweat as yeah. much as 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 agencies. Yeah. So it's easier to arrive and to and to and to be uh, to be fresh, but we just need to to, uh, to be to be to be uh, self confident about that and to be sure that we'll be listened. Which doesn't mean which doesn't mean that you guys can't be diplomatic. No, no. It doesn't mean that you have to be dicks. Excuse my French, right? Because <laughs> because, that, because that that new. This new generation of directors who are extremely good, like you guys are, extremely good, and at very at a very high level, they have a balance of what the two generations ago, the Tarsem and the Tony Kay and the Joe Pitka of the world had, which was a consciousness of what their business was, what their job was, yeah. but they're missing something that those directors had, which was difficulty, like being difficult, right? Uh, being complicated to deal with. And, and so agencies at the time would try and wrangle, you know, like, like a horse. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm be the one that's uh, going to work with Tony Love Kay. It. And Tony Kay is going to be, you know, in my, in my hands, you know. But then it's, it's not... It's not It doesn't happen that way anymore, right? So sometimes, sometimes we have like... Sometimes we heard about like directors who are still like that in 2020. Yep. But it's I have the feeling that it's very hard to to stay uh, longer than five years or two years if you're like that. I it's think so. definitely no. like. Uh, but we are born and raised in economic crisis, so the, yeah. like we know we know the flow of the diplomacy. 
maybe a, a bit more than the people who are like living in the 80s, uh, smoking cigars in meetings, you know. Exactly, exactly. And with a lot of money, you know, like, let's yeah, go. Yeah, and just like, and, and even, I think it's even not about money, but it's just about like, just like the full freedom to, yeah. uh, to say fuck off to everybody. Yeah. Like, uh, we are not in this world anymore. Which, Which is not bad in a, in a way. Which brings me to one thing that is very different from that time, right? Advertising directors were advertising directors. And when they started moving around to the different formats, there were maybe other two formats in the world, right? So it was, you would move to music video and then maybe cinema if you were lucky, because that wasn't a really, you know, Ridley Scott and Adrian Lyne did it. Tarsem didn't do it very well. Tony, Tony K didn't do it very well, right? Pitka did it with Michael Jordan. But I'm talking about that generation, right? Yeah. That generation actually has the opportunity to cross the line much easier. Do you like doing a lot of things? Because you do music videos, you do commercial, you do things for different screens. Do you like this mm -hmm. diversity? For sure. For sure. I, I actually like it was like uh, like the main goal uh, with Clément when we started uh, direct, uh, directing. The purpose was not direction; it was how we can find ways to create more. And, yeah. and it, it, it it was like website. It, it, it was nice. like uh, a music yeah, yeah. video. It was like uh, and and we wanted to to focus at this time on interactive stuff and and uh, with like uh, like the digital there is like plenty of way of, of creating and yes. and for sure like uh, uh, in fact, actually like the agency uh, where we were creative was one of the first in in, uh, in Paris to, to do like 360 right. campaign so yes. to be to do film to do uh, the digital to do the print and 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 with Clément we really like that to, to be able to, yep. to uh, to do a lot of stuff, and and that's also why uh, we um, we were like confident to, to to go to the direction because like uh, even in our school we were doing a lot of stuff. We were doing painting, we are doing like uh, sculpture, we are doing a lot of stuff, and and and, and all these skills was really uh, really uh, really exciting for us to to, to, to play with. Because because we, go, yeah. uh, go go come on go go. No, no, no. I, 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 I'm totally agree uh, with Pierre about that. The I would just will say that after uh, like a little, almost ten years in this, uh, in this uh, industry now, like yes. directing, the um, I would say that maybe yes. like in the in the idea, I'm still like totally agree with that. Yes. But maybe like technically. Uh, it's a, it's it's a bit uh, more complicated that, than uh, than uh, what we imagined before at the beginning. Just like when you are focused on something, and if you want to be good in something, you need to spend time on it and to work on it. So, like but between advertising and, and music video is like it's a very it's a very close format, and yeah. uh, doing like. 30 seconds or four, four minutes it's it's almost the same it's uh, it's easy to uh, to jump from uh, from one to another yeah. the, uh, for the feature films i would say that uh, uh, it, it's something like very interesting and and but i i didn't see so many people doing the the good jump so yeah. so my well, feeling now is like it's doable but uh, you need to quit a bit, like one of one of them, to jump to in another one. Not the reality, not definitely, yeah. but at least part. Yeah, the, the, the reality is that one, when you do it, then you don't really come back that much to where you started from, right? So, yeah. because of what you're saying, because of the fact that it is, you know, doing. Um, digital content and doing a commercial and doing a branded content and doing a music video are within the realm right yeah. of, of of the advertising world if you then go into the tv series and the feature film i know i know a lot of a lot of directors that go back and forth but yeah. but they they if they go that way if they come from the advertising world and go in there they basically stay there Right, um, they they 
come back to make a little bit of money, but then go back to that because they found something that that they kind of have to explore. They yeah. have to get back. Or know? sometimes it can be the opposite also. You can go to yes. a TV series or features yep. and, and discover yep. that it was not the phantasm you had in mind. Then, True. then it's another business. And you come back. Uh, with, with a lot of rules and stuff. Yep. And, yep. and so you, you have the feeling that you have more freedom during advertising. True. It's which true. is like, uh, I was talking with a, a, another director like a few months ago who told me exactly that. He, he was like, you know, like, TV series is like so much full of, uh, of, of rules and the, yes. and the business is like, is, 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 uh, is hard. So actually, I feel more free doing advertising and having the flexibility of my, li of my life, doing like uh, a yep. lot of different projects every yep. year makes me yep. feel like uh, more free. So yeah, it's, it's very personal, you know, like it's, yeah. a, it's a very, because also when you do a feature film and we are in a company that does feature films and, and, and TV series and advertising and a lot of different things and music videos. And when you do feature films and our feature film division is different than our advertising division, we're all the same company, but it's just a different mindset because you work for eight months, two years sometimes on, on, on something yeah. and then you sometimes see it go on on the screen for two weekends and then poof it disappears you're like what i worked yeah, yeah, yeah. you know i worked 15 months on this and you know like two weekends <laughs> like and it's yeah. on no and you're right and, and and also because like working in advertising what is like something uh, i i really love for the beginning it's like the fact that uh it, it goes so it goes super fast and 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 we, we work a lot in the in the US and yep. especially in the US it goes like very very fast it's like it's you you, you get to you get to you jump on a pitch you have like maybe like one week of pitch yes. five days to have an answer and when you are, and when you're rounded like five, yep. three days later you are like in the plane you're, you're on a plane you, you <laughs> stay like three weeks in the country Yep. in the US or yep. in Buenos Aires or wherever and yep. and you go back so it's like it's like one month basically yep. per project so yep. and and one month after you have like a, you have like a 60 seconds or yep. 90 or whatever Not in your hand no in yeah. your hand so and it's done you know and yeah, yeah. then you move to the next one you know yeah. and sometimes the, the editor is on set yeah so you are like no, doing the edit uh, on set so yep. it's like the the way it works it's it's very uh, joyful yeah. in, in the fact that uh, you feel your life uh, live, you know? Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. So, and respectful also, because there's something that is different, a little different from what, what how it's done in the US and here. It's like there's a respect for the choice that you've made as an agency when you choose a director. So you've chosen to go with you guys, and yeah. it doesn't mean that you won't have problems. It just means that you have given your baby to somebody so that they can grow it, to have it grown um, to a certain age. You know, that's kind of yeah. how it works. And sometimes we, in Italy especially, sometimes we give a job to you guys, but then we actually follow the, the kid. We don't give it to you to have it, have it raised the right way because we've chosen you guys. We kind of sit beside you and we're like, why are you giving that? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing this? Yeah, Why yeah, don't you do that? And you're like, oh, Jesus Christ, let me have this kid. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit similar in France also. Yeah. The, every country is, uh, are different True. about the relationship between production companies and, yeah. uh, and agencies and clients. Yep. And honestly, there is no... Uh, there is not no. a, a best no. way. No, there's not one rule or one because, like, yeah, yeah. Also, like the difference is huge between Europe and US in the ways that you don't really like have the opportunity to follow the the post production yeah. in the US. Yeah. So, yeah. like in Europe, you yeah. you maybe the agencies are a little bit much like behind you. Yeah. Uh, yes. uh, in in pre production. Yes. But but after that, you have like two weeks three yeah. weeks of uh, editing yeah. uh, with the agency. So you, you are a little bit more involved and you can yeah. still like keep working and uh, and keep trying to Better. Bring, the idea again. Bring, yeah. bring your own the stuff. In, yeah. in the editing. <laughs> yeah. So in the US, in the US it's like, it's, it's, 
when you when you quit yeah, yeah. after that you always have a little bit the, the opportunity to do the edit but yeah. uh, only remote mostly and after uh, actually yeah. like the agency takes the baby which was, is good well, when actually, i was in the us in when US, i was in the us i was on the agency side right and i and yeah. i was and when I, when i was on the agency side because i came from an italian background yeah. i I would never, and we're talking many years ago. I lived in the U.S. until 2002, so we're talking many years ago. I never uh, had a director not do a director's cut. And the directors were so grateful that they were allowed to do a director's cut because usually you, you have a director shoot yeah. and you take everything and you take it home. And you're like, okay, have, have them tell me how they were thinking about it, right? Yeah. So... Um, it's interesting that, you know, like, for example, the U.S. has changed in that. They allow now somehow for the directors to give an input before they go and yeah, fuck yeah. up the cut. No, man, most of the time we do a, a director's cut. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, obviously. Cut, I mean, but, but at the point, we leave the baby for real in the U.S. You yeah, know? goodbye. It's, yeah. And uh, oh, so, it's, yeah, so it's, me, it's different. And, oh, and, let, me, and, let me ask and, a question a about... Frustrating. Oh, I can imagine. I can imagine. So let me let me ask you a question. So at a certain point, you decide to send your first film, your first commercial to the YDA, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you win, right? Do what? Uh, yeah. And it yeah. was basically from what you told me, it was a few months after you had decided to leave your agency job and you had decided to go directing or freelancing or one of the two or both. Both, yeah. Was what happened? What? How important was the YDA for you? Was it important for you guys to? Actually, it's the first time we went uh, on stage to get an award for for something we direct. Mm -hmm. So, and it was the first year of direction for us. So, for sure, yeah. it's it's for sure it's important because like it gives you the feeling that you. Yeah, you are not going in the wrong. Yeah. You are yeah. not going in the wrong direction. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, and and uh, and also like uh, when I rewatched the 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 video, uh, like you? it was like a commercial for East Pack. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, last time I I rewatched it, I was like, yeah, they, it's it's uh, it was it's it was super rough. It yeah. was like uh, it was like uh, <laughs> super rough. Uh, it's I, I still love it actually yeah. but in the, it was like you can feel that it's like uh, we were like very uh, very young <laughs> very young in the in the in the stuff but uh, and and I think I think that's why that's why the YDA is interesting it's like it's uh, like the first stuff it's the same for feature films for example oh, okay. like uh, the energy of the of the first stuff I like, I like, I like. I like it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's very uh, brutal. In a, even the edit, it was like it's crazy. Like how we we That's managed fun. to to sell like this editing because like it's very uh, straight <laughs> to the point. Uh, it's the yeah. It's it's. Uh, that's why it's cool to see uh, the the project were like awarded at YDA because like when you are like a newcomer, you don't yeah. give a shit about the rules. You know, yeah. you just want to do what you want to do, mm. and and after and after the years, you you become a little bit more uh, what people are expecting from you. But so that's point, it's a bit no? different. But uh, at the beginning, yeah, it was it was rough. When we when we when decided we when we decided whether to do the YDA or not do it this year, yeah, we decided to do it because of exactly that reason. I think there's a number of directors that have done work, and it would be a pity to not have the YDA this year. Because, because of the fact that it's a talent-based award and, yeah. it, mm -hmm. and it's also a crafting-based award, whether the crafting is rough with the rough edit, like you're saying, right, yeah. or not, it's, I think a lot of directors have done work this year and it would be sad to not have them awarded this year because of this. So the thing yeah. that I will miss the most and, and I'm saying it as the chairman of the jury this year, right? But the thing that I will miss the most is to give an award, the first award to some director yeah. on stage. Yeah. That's yeah. going to be the part that has, because, because of the fact that you mentioned it right now, yeah. right? 
it was the first, you said, it was the first time I walked up on stage. I think that's going to be probably the only thing that you will miss. I think the rest is going to be if people enter work and if people are going to be participating like they did in the past year, then, then there's, going to be, there's going to be enough work to judge. The, the jury is amazing and, you know, uh, there's no reason why it shouldn't be as good as the other years because the jury is going to judge the work, right? Like yeah, how yeah. So, Same process, but not like that. so it's interesting. So uh, I have, I have, a, I have a, a last question. I have two last questions. One is, um, one is do, do you think that writing and directing together is going to be something that people ask you? Like, do you always want to go through an agency? Do you think some client might want you to actually use your creative spirit and your directing spirit like you did when you first started, like when you were freelancing? What, Do you what, think what, what, what you mean? You mean without agencies? Without the agency in the middle? Um, some, some. It already happened sometimes. Um, the. I don't know. If you mean in the yeah, future, you, in the future. The, the, the question for you is like, do you think that the agency is gonna is, is gonna disappear? <laughs> no. Or, 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 or do you think do you think there are different? I I think one thing. I think there are different yeah. ways to actually produce today. Yeah. And I think there are different ways to also collaborate. Yeah. And there are sometimes ways in which um, they they might. Yeah, you know, we have done this many times in the past years where. 30% of our business as a production company comes from the entertainment type of advertising, right? Like they come to us and they ask us to find the talent, the author, the authorial talent, the authors, like the people that write it, the people that direct it, and us as talented producers, right? Um, do you think making the, it shorter is something that you would want to do or do you think it's going to happen? But maybe it's gonna happen yeah. because, like, uh, like the brand are gonna have uh, maybe uh, less money to spend on the campaign. So maybe at one moment uh, they are gonna find uh, this kind of yeah. way to, to to manage money. Yeah. Um, but uh, I, for now, um, when when we when we started and when uh, like all uh, our first uh, commercial, we 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 were like uh, doing the creative. Yep. And um, and the agency was really really uh, into that and and really wanted us to to, to manage to change the script yep. and uh, and 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 they gave us a, a lot of freedom. Yes. And and it happened uh, really really less uh, less uh, openly. Yeah. So uh, it's pretty rare. So I I'm I'm not sure that uh, that um, it's going to increase a lot. Maybe maybe a little bit. Yeah. No, but and, I, I think and also right. like. And we talk about that uh, like before doing the, this video, but yeah. uh, like we are talking about like like post COVID, um, like working at home and everything. Yeah. It's like for me, it's for me like like in a way like this question is only about the structure of the companies. Yeah. But uh, it really depends about uh, about the people you work with and about the idea at the end. Yeah. Because like uh, if in the structure you have, you can you can have a good idea and save yeah. the idea until yeah. the to give it to the to the production company and the director. Yeah, you can be a client. You can be. I agree. I don't know whatever you want to be. You can it, it can work, but and you can be like at home in the middle of the forest of uh, of Italy if yeah. you alone and if you have a good idea you can sell your idea to the best client in the world Absolutely. and uh, and to do the good pass to the director so it's like for me like if i imagine the future i imagine more like uh, like definitely like more freelance uh, uh, yeah. less less offices yeah people like, like maybe <laughs> <laughs> that's actually very cool. 
whatever you're saying is very funny. I think Pierre thinks it's very funny. Uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to point to do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> to have ideas. <laughs> you, you're and, uh, can you can you just uh, tell me what he's saying? Uh, actually, I think what he's saying is uh, that um, they are going to be more freelance and, like, and they are going like to be more, more maybe less like tweet. smaller structure. Smaller structure. I ah, still speaking. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Clemo, we don't hear you. No, I think, I think I think I understand. <laughs> No, I, I think I think I understand what Clement is saying. I think it, it, mm. it's all about I think the smaller structures also, but also this the the quicker you can be a big structure, but you can have a quicker model, right? The model yeah. can be different, um, mm -mm. and I think that, that is something that is interesting. But but before Clement actually was, I think Clement might come back, or might not. As soon as he moved yeah. to. On the, you're, on you're on your bed. bed at all. <laughs> I, you're, you're, you're all like cutty. But anyway, uh, my last question, my last question is about your name. Why, mm -hmm. why is it we are from LA? Is there a quick, is there a quick story to that? Yeah. Uh, so the quick story is uh, is uh, quite simple because like we really wanted to move from uh, from so the creative to the direction so it was quite a big move uh, we wanted to make uh, in our career and um, and so it was we wanted to reset a little bit our life yep. and um, and actually to move from from one uh, one job to another one uh, in the US it's pretty simple because yep. in the US uh, they really give you like uh, opportunities to it's true. To do what you want to do, and and they they, they really uh, uh, like uh, give you confidence and all that. In France, it's not yep. totally the case, uh, and yes. um, and so we really wanted to to, to have uh, even in our name the concept of positivism and yes. uh, and how we can we if we want to be from LA, we we can be from LA. Yep. LA yeah. is, everything is possible. So that's why that's and. and 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 that's uh, that's uh, like the correct story, and we have like uh, also like the real story and the real story I cannot tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and am I back? Yeah, you're back. You're back. Yeah, you're back. That's a shame because like the previous uh, question, like for the previous question, I was like super intelligent, and it was like <laughs> it was it was literally like the the most the best answer I did ever. <laughs> ever uh, but uh so yeah but nobody, nobody will know nobody about will know. but it was like it was, i was just talking about the future and like uh, it's like super important for all the clients and agencies in the world uh, the giving answers. but uh yeah but i think you were too much in the future demo so that's yeah, why maybe we, 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 like, will, we will we will not be able to, to maybe you will receive my live feed in 20 years maybe you will like, hear the end you was right you was right when, when in 10 years we watch this video, we will yeah. hear the answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the matrix. Uh, yeah, yeah. But guys, I, in, in general, the YDA actually helped you guys, right? So, I mean, it, yeah. it was a big deal. So, um, I, I, would, I would recommend people kind of participating because when people, when directors get to your level and I would put you in the... But Especially at the beginning, like YDA is, is, is made for like for the newcomers, and yep. it's like uh, and cool. and when you start, you you need to have highlights because like uh, oh, yeah. there are like so many people who uh, who, who try to, to do this this, this job, yeah. so it's 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 super important to have highlights and it gives you like uh, more visibility for for the agencies yeah. and for the clients and also like for the production companies for yeah. everybody. So it's like uh, it's. It's like in the first in the Break first uh, two or three years, it's super important to to be a, a bit famous to, yeah. uh, to 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 get jobs it's true. and to do not become depressed <laughs> of uh, <laughs> doing that. You know, exactly. Because you need to find projects to to have a good reel, and so you need to to do it like step by step. So and it's and it's also and, uh, a place where people watch, like from all over the world. All producers look at the YDA because. That's where the new directors come from. And That's also, true. let's let's stay honest. The maybe not for this year, but like in in general, 
Yeah. It's, it's, it's a good way to go to Cannes <laughs> and to have champagne in front of the sea yeah, yeah. Uh, kissing people. So, you know, like at yeah. a point, uh, only for it's, that. Exactly. Only, at but least this for, year, the, for the glass of champagne in front of Martinez at 3 a.m. At least true. for that. At least, but, but obviously a glass of champagne that costs five times as much as any glass of champagne anywhere in the world. Which is yeah, great. but 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 it's very rare in to have glass of champagne with all the the best creative in the world uh, around you. So yeah, when, yeah, it's, when 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 you get when you get a YDA, uh, and when you are like twenty four or twenty three or whatever, yeah, it's, it can it can it can be like a very very quick uh, second step to go higher. Yeah. Pierre is like, yeah, it's true. Yeah, sure. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, I can just add that uh, also it's really easy to win. Look at our commercial uh, is packed. So it's yeah, really easy to win. you, you, should, <laughs> you <laughs> should send your videos because like... <laughs> because it's really easy to win. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. I would, I would actually end with that. So Pierre and Clement, I can't thank you enough for this mm. chat. Thank I you mean, very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for doing it. Uh, and, and really, uh, congratulations for everything you've done. And, and your success. And uh, and uh, thank you very much for the for this video. And when you come to Milan, we won't drink champagne. We will drink spumante. I'm just gonna say this. So I'm okay. Just saying it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm good with that. Bye. Bye. Thank. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.